Okay. We have to understand a new memory concept, right? So I'm going to go here and I will refresh your memory as to how uh, references work, okay? Uh, why are uh, both accounts zero? Well, that's a typo, right? One should be one, one should be zero. Uh, let me see here. Uh, where was I? Right, so we want to reference savings there. So. Uh, let me commit it just to make sure. Uh, okay, so let that check in. Okay, we're good. So let's go and re refresh your memory as to how references work, okay? because if you understand how references work, then you already have a very good idea of how uh, pointers work, right? References uh, can point to another variable's address. <clears throat> and it can read that value in that address and it can modify it. A pointer can do the same thing, right? So let's, let's see that. Okay, so using C out. So we have, uh, how much time do we have? Yeah, we have time. We have integer num equals five. And then we know that we can create a reference. Okay, and we can say uh, C out value of num via num ref, num ref. And that should output the value 5. So let's go here. And we have to go to the memory piece here, memory. <clears throat> Running terminal. Value 5, right? Because this numref is pointing to the memory location where num lives, okay? That's why it can do that. <clears throat> Let me, uh, num1 equals 10. So just to refresh your memory, we can also say uh, numref equals some new value. And that should modify the value of num, right? And if we are still not sold on it, we can say num value, and we can display num values using the num variable. I mean, I covered this before, right? But I want to. I cover it again because you need to understand this to understand pointers. So run in terminal. Uh, value of num ref of uh, num via num ref 5, num value is 5 value of num via num ref is 20, right after we execute this statement, meaning we change the value of num via num ref but notice num value is also changed to 20, right, so meaning a reference can take control over another variable's uh, values that, that's what we showed here one thing you cannot do with a reference, <clears throat> you cannot assign it a different address. Once you assign it an address here, you can try or think that you're giving it another address, but you're not, right? So this is uh, uh, 10, right? So let's see what will numref display and let's see that uh, run in terminal
So notice the last statement, value of num via num ref is 10, which can trick us into thinking that we are now pointing to the address of this one, but that's not the case. Let's see here. Uh, value of num1, num1. And let's run this again. Ten, uh, 10 and 10, it's kind of like, hey, wait a minute, are we pointing to it or not? Well, there's one quick way to find out, right? We can say num ref. equals uh, 100 and then we can say uh, let's display values right so running terminal uh, value of uh, let me see number if equals 100 okay let me see we're looking at the last two statements here right right here so notice value of num via num ref is 100. Value of num1 is 10. We are not displaying num here. So let's display num just to make sure that we are clear that num ref is still referencing num and not num ref like this statement might trick us into. So let's go here, run in the terminal. We are focused on the last three statements. Value of num via num ref 100. Num value 100. So just because we ran this statement here, thinking that, oh, now we're referencing the address of num1, no. What happens here, C++ knows that we've initialized num ref, so it just gets the value that belongs to num1. And now num ref gets that value, but it's still pointing to the address of num. And we demonstrate that here by modifying num ref to 100, giving num the value of 100, and num1 still has the value of 10. Questions here? Why did we, uh, or why did I show you lines 18 through 25? Just to make sure that you understand that a num ref a reference can only be initialized to point to a variable one time, only one time. Okay, so that's why <clears throat> I had to go here. Now a pointer can do the same. Uh, it has the same functionality that a reference has, but it's got more power. You can assign it to point to a variable, and then you can assign it to point to a different variable. And C++ is like, okay, I, you want to point to a different variable? That's fine with me, right? So let's uh, investigate that. We're going to, we'll still, let me see, uh, we'll create its own variables down here. Okay, uh, We'll say int num three equals 50 and num four equals uh, 75. Okay, and then we can say uh, pointer equals the address of three, num three. Notice the difference. We have to use the memory operator here. Notice this new uh, syntax, asterisk, means that I am creating a pointer to some data type. Here, a pointer to an integer type. And if I want to assign it an address, I have to use the memory operator. Remember, the memory operator <coughs> deals with addresses. So that's why uh, this syntax is OK. So uh, let me, I guess so that we can not get confused. Let me comment this piece for now. Okay. Let's see. C 
Proxy out. Value of num3 via num pointer. Num pointer new line. Okay, uh, run in terminal. Notice what we got. Some weird output, and that's an address, right? So let's run it again. I did that on purpose, right? So let's see here. <clears throat> Notice when we say value of num3 via num underscore pointer, and then we say num underscore pointer, it returns an address. Pointers work with addresses by default. If you want a pointer uh, to give you the value of a variable at a certain address, then uh, we need some other syntax, right? Uh, I'll show you that syntax, and then what I'll go do is I'll go map all of this stuff into a memory diagram so that you can get a picture of what is this stuff, right? So we'll do this. And anytime you want to get the value of a pointer, you have to use not the value of a pointer, the value of the address that the pointer is pointing to. You have to use the asterisk. That concept is known as dereferencing the pointer. memory address num pointer points to value of num3 via num so let's see what we get here run in terminal tell me we got time so b37c and the value is 50 okay hmm interesting let's go and try to make sense of this with memory diagrams uh, references should be familiar to you so um, I'm not gonna I'm not going like a deep dive into references again I'll just quickly refresh your memory as to how that stuff works <clears throat> so let's see here Okay, so let me see. I know we have wrote a lot of statements here, but maybe we want to focus on on those, okay? So let me go here. Paste. Hey, what happened? <laughs> okay, uh, what is it? Uh, int num equals five. Uh, reference num ref equal num, right? Int. Okay, that's kind of small. So I think if I right click, I should be able to increase the font. Yeah. Okay. So stack we know by now that main gets a chunk of memory and uh, five right a reference remember it's not loaded onto the stack right it's probably somewhere else but that's not our concern but we do know that it also references that memory location and again completely made up address like some large x 1000 address and that's how a reference works right so when we <clears throat> when we say number f equals 20 then we're saying change the value of the address that you are referencing so then this becomes 20 okay and then let me see here what else when we say num ref equals num1, 
uh, assuming num1 was here, right? Uh, int num1 equals, uh, what was it, 20? That one would go here, right? So 20. And when we see the statement num ref equals num, we cannot assign it an address. So what's uh, 20, uh, let me see here, what numbers are here? Uh, num ref equals num1, what was num1? 10, right? I think I said 10, right? So sorry. Uh, yeah, it was 10. So 10. I didn't want the numbers to be the same. So 10, then when we say num ref equals num, we are simply just changing the value. We are not referencing, assuming this was like uh, 996 address, we're not referencing this address. Instead, we are changing the value of the address that we were referencing, okay? Why? Because we cannot assign a different address that we're referencing to a reference. Once it's initialized, it'll always be that address unless we stop the program and uh, change code to reference another variable. Okay, but when the program's running, we can't change it. Questions here? <clears throat> okay. Okay. No question. So now we go into a pointer, right? So let's see here. Uh, let me focus on this piece here. Control C, Control V. Well, it's there. I guess I probably did something wrong. Okay. So let's map this one. pointers, okay? We have stack. Main. Okay. So num3 50 pointer so let's see, assume this is that address, right? And this is uh, this address, 996. Pointer does get a memory on the stack, okay? Remember, the reference does not, a pointer does, okay? So then what do we have here? The address of num3, so here we say that, and then we can do that to show that it is referencing or pointing to that memory address, okay? Let's go back here. Uh, assuming uh, <clears throat> I add this code, and num4 equals uh, 100. Let me move this statement down here. And then I say num pointer equals the address of num4. And then I'm like, okay, let me see this and see what happens, okay? So running terminal. <clears throat> so let's let's follow the statements. Let's concentrate on this one first. This ones are these ones here, okay? Num three fifty. We say, hey, num pointer, point to the address of num3. And that is E7C4. The value is 50. We create another variable, num4, and then we're like, hey, num pointer, now reference or point to the address of num4, and that's E7C0, and the value is 100, thus making it clear that a pointer can initially point to one. Uh, memory block of, a, of a, some variable and then we can reassign it to some other memory block of a different variable right so let me update the diagram with this piece here questions there
I know this are, this are like hard concepts, right? But uh, they'll make your life easier in uh, programming three if uh, you can get a grasp of them. So let's see here. Uh, and once you learn them, you'll never forget, right? So let's see. So num four would be here, and this is x nine nine two. Right, so then this statement here is saying, "Hey, num pointer, don't point to x one thousand anymore." So now point to x. Oh, sorry, uh, x nine nine two, x nine nine two, and I can eliminate that, and then I can have this one there. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, that's the right one. This is the pointer address. And this one here would be 100, right? So uh, 100. Questions here? You have a class assignment. So it'll be a, like last Tuesday where you all can collaborate uh, to do the class assignment. On Thursday, there's a quiz. Uh, I think it's over strings and vectors. Yeah. <clears throat> Any questions here? OK, so let's go back and look at some more code. So far, we've just seen that we can reassign right but just like a reference a pointer can also modify values right we can we can modify values <clears throat> just remember that a pointer works with addresses anytime you want to work with values you have to start with uh, the asterisk that concept is known as dereferencing the pointer right so so I have to say uh, if I want to change the value I have to say num pointer equals uh, 200 okay and then I can uh, run this piece again and let's see what output we get so notice initially we pointed uh, to num3 which has value 50 but then we're like hey I want to change the value of num3 to 200 and notice that it lets us like we can read and write uh, with the pointer and that'll hold true for this one too like once we are pointing to num4 we can mess with it we can modify the value i just have to remember to use the asterisk <clears throat> and i want to change it to say 1000 and let me run it So notice initially uh, num4 is 100. I modify it to 1000 and notice that it is modifying to 1000. At least that's what I'm telling you, right? Uh, the real truth is in, well, show me with C out num3, right? So let's do that. Uh, let's do that here. Uh, num3 value. Oops, not string. Num3. And then we will also display it after we modify it here. And then we will also... Uh, let me... Uh, four. 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 They should display the same values, right? Four. OK, so let's run this, and then we will analyze the results. OK, so value of num3 via num pointer is 50. The num3 value is 50. Value of num3 via num pointer is 200. Num3 value is. 200. 
value of num4 via num pointer 100 num4 value 100 value of num4 via num pointer 1000 right num4 value 1000 which means that a pointer uh, can point to a variable modify its value and then if we want to we can have it point to a completely different variable and mess with it too right or use it right in this case let me see here uh, questions uh, so reference is not stored in memory pointer holds a place in memory on the stack right so yeah on stack memory so uh, the reference is not stored on the stack right but a pointer does get a memory block on the stack right and we can invest investigate that let me see here uh, memory address num points to num pointer value of an entry pointer maybe here we say uh, memory where num pointer is stored memory operator num pointer <clears throat> uh, okay uh, run in terminal Uh, I didn't put a new line character, but it's here, right? It does get its different memory address than than what it stores, right? So if we go look at this, the pointer would be pointer address x nine nine six. It can point to one thousand or nine nine two. Right? So, okay, okay. Uh, let me stop the recording.